This video is a quick overview of the new Demi Quiz software program from DemiDeck Resources. Let's go ahead and run the program. Uh, here we see the program. It has the ability to import materials from uh, the web that we've downloaded from the website uh, to connect to data. For those of you that have home systems, this is pretty trivial, but if you're setting this up to run on a school system, this will be a very valuable tool. Uh, we can take tests. We can work with the flashcards. We can do a review set uh, for the tests that have been used up. Okay. First thing you want to do then is to go to the website and um, let's close down our setup program. If we go to the website, we can see that if we go to www.demideck.com, uh, we can log in. Here I'll log in using teacher permissions. and go to download files and we will have a link here at the top of the page that's new for 2013 demi quiz download and install the demi quiz program for your windows computer if we click that we get a web page that shows you uh, a lot of information recommend you read this fairly thoroughly um, talks a little bit about uh, how the installation works uh, here's an alternative way to install if you're on a school system this may help a little uh, you can also download uh, quizzes and files, and there's a YouTube training video playlist that you can go to to look at any of the, the recorded walkthroughs that we have posted to YouTube. Okay, so once you get to this page, you just have to click here on the click once for home installation or click here to download the installation files for your school. And they'll, they'll download, and you may have to have a dialogue with your local uh, antivirus software and to go ahead and install those. Okay. Uh, you may have some, some challenges there because a lot of the antivirus software is pretty picky about what it allows you to install. Uh, be glad to work with any schools that have trouble uh, getting those to install. Uh, but for now, of course, they're just on Windows-based systems. So Mac systems, hopefully later on, we'll be able to get you one that, uh, that works. Okay, so we have the software downloaded and installed, and uh, here's what you'll see. Um, back to here. Okay. Uh, once you've downloaded the software, then you can go ahead and go to the setup and select some locations for your uh, data to be placed. You can create new results files or new content files and then import into those. You can move those files around and locate them on the network as needed. If, if you want all the students to share the same data file, that's fairly easy to do. If you want them to all share the same results file on your school, school system, that should be pretty easy to do. That would involve the use of a shared uh, network drive, a mapped drive on, the, on a uh, shared, shared location on the network. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and browse to a different uh, results file. I'm going to go to uh, one that I've already been using for a while. So we'll imagine that we're now set up and we've imported our, our files. I'm going to go to uh, Tom's My Documents and get the, con the results file there. And then I'm going to connect up to the same location and get the content for 2013 that's, that's there. And now that's showing us what we have. These are what the program is connected to. And now when we go to take a test, with a little bit of luck, we'll be able to log in. And we're logged in. Here it shows at the bottom what the student's name is. In the first module, Take Test, this is uh, the, the first time through any of the tests or quizzes. The software is set up so you get to take those once. The questions get to be recycled after you've taken them in the review module. That's its purpose, is to allow you to reuse any of these questions as a review down the line. If we open up the focused quizzes, we can see the art. Let's open the art focused quizzes, and here's an entire list of all 40 of the art focused quizzes. Okay, some of them I've already started, some of them I haven't. And as you go in there, just click on the line or click somewhere in there, and then you can hit the start button, and it will step you through and allow you to take the tests. Uh, it will record your answer as soon as you click on it. You can, if you want to skip the question and come back, you can use the arrow keys but you can only answer it once. Okay, so then you go through and as you answer them, um, 
this is I missed the first question I'll go on you notice my score is 0 for 1 it's also marked over here this will keep tabs on your scores for every test and show you your results as you go through the different materials that's the take test module that's pretty simple pretty straightforward let's close that one down let's look at the flashcards module okay in the flashcard modules you have a an outline tree and you can choose items from the topic outline and work with cards from that area so if you wanted to work with art from World War One you click on this you notice there are 233 flashcards in that area and if you want to narrow that down further and just study the people you could do that this will study the people involved in the art of World War One only we begin and we see a flashcard on the top this poet and publisher advocated futurism in his 1909 text. I have no idea. Uh, Martinet, Martinetti. And I'm going to need to work on that one some more. So I click on the red button and it marks that as viewed but not mastered. And so it keeps track of your cards as you go through. These are unviewed. This column here is viewed. This is mastered. And so as you work through each set, you get a graph, that, uh, a, a live graph of where you are in that set. If you go back to a broader graph for art, notice that we have a much larger group. Uh, let's go to all types. And we have 1,200 plus cards with just a very few of them looked at. So this does a graph of the current set of cards. And it will tell you where you are as you work through the flashcards. Finally, uh, once you've taken a few tests, you have some dead questions from the take test module. The review module will allow you to bring those back up for example in art if I pull up art you'll notice there are 90 questions down here available let me go to art fundamentals there are 28 in in the test that I have taken so far and so these 28 questions are shown here these are level 0 so in this review program if I get one right let me begin click to start this year's academic decathlon art curriculum deals mostly with the art of the 20th century so now that one is at mastery one, which just means I've gotten it right once. Okay, and I continue on through. I keep taking it, and as I as I get the questions right, they go up to level one. If I miss them, then they go back to zero. If I get them right twice in a row, then they go up to level two. And you don't have to. You just keep taking questions, and it keeps sorting them out. And it will give you the lowest level questions available and the questions that are the oldest uh, of the ones that you have taken. So this will give me the the earliest one, the one I got right most long ago at this level. In other words, it, it does the ordering for you and just presents you the cards. Okay, next question. You go on, you answer that one. Um, let's see, Hopper didn't have any cards in this one. So now we have two cards at level one and 26 cards at level zero. So this is now recycling the take test cards that um, have already been taken in their tests. So the take test module uh, gives you the first time through on each of the tests. The flashcards module gives you all of the flashcards which you select by subject area. The review module gives you the used questions selected by subject area and you can just keep working with them until you have them all all mastered. And that's the uh, sum total of the Demi Quiz software and uh, Hope this helps you to uh, figure out whether or not you want to take the time to install this and, and work with it. Thanks for your time.